those. I just love Roswell, the show. Their annual UFO festival in Roswell remains a go despite coronavirus. So it's a go, like on contact, because we promote TV shows. But Ronnie's here to help me with Texas and I guess New Mexico, Ronnie, because uh, Ken Johnston is our rep in New Mexico. But can, uh, since you're going to the Roswell, New Mexico every year, uh, and you're already established as a speaker and a helper, can because my, my Roswell guy, Stan Friedman, died. He used to come on and help me, and we'd promote that. And uh, I hadn't talked to uh, anybody lately but uh there's another guy out there that does radio but will you help me promote that roswell new mexico because you're going to be there uh, yeah. right yeah all right uh, so they plan- go ahead uh yeah we're, i plan on being there and i mean they, they have a dog show and they have so many different stages you have to pretty much pick who you want to hear because p- different people are speaking at different stages in different parts of town and it's a it's a huge festival and there's several thousands and thousands of people attend this thing and they shut down main street and uh they have a ufo dog show they have a ufo costume contest and they have a big ufo parade and they're going to have fireworks since it's going to be on july 4th weekend so it's going to be a big blowout up there awesome now folks i'm going to just tell you it's the 25th but the mayor ronnie uh is Mayor Dennis Kenty, or is that the right way? It's T-I-G-H. He says that there's no positive cases of COVID-19. Now, the, the site of supposed UFO crash in 47 had an extent, uh, has an annual extra, extraterrestrial festival that draws thousands. And Ronnie has been going and is a speaker and has a – he'll hold your book up if he, if you see him. And uh, we'll make sure y'all know what Ronnie looks like, and I'm going to grab his picture again. But I know he's on our ACO Club dot app, and uh, Ronnie's going to be here doing paranormal, and we'll discuss ET ACO Club app dot. Let me see if I can pull your your uh, picture up, Ronnie, on ACO Club dot app. Uh, let me see if I put app Ronnie Dawson if you. Did you notice, does your page come up, Ronnie Dawson, on the ACO Club directory? Did you see uh, it? I haven't seen it. I would, yeah, I need, I'd like to get that link that way I can share it. Uh, I haven't seen okay, the page AC- yet. All right. Well, what I'll do is I'll uh, go back on your directory and put you under paranormal. But I've got a lot of work to do on my directories, folks. Depends on the – a lot of my people that are my project managers uh, want me to go uh, – I had a talk with a couple of them today. Or no, was it yesterday on email. But uh, even a, a mad painter with uh, Revolution Radio, he manages that. But he said Rev comes first because he's having to run Mike Ringley because Mike passed. And, uh, you know, I want to do – I was on there, but uh, – what it was is I was getting confused as to whether they wanted me to market for Revolution Radio, but I, I said it the other day. Now, I'm on here, Ronnie. I'm on acoclub.app. Oh, there's your – okay, now on the right-hand side in red, folks, it says Ronnie Dawson. Now, I'm going to click on it and go look and see. But this is going to be his first show on Saturday, Paranormal. You ain't going to believe this. So we're giving him a titled show Ronnie Dawson and me, TJ Marcy T. And we're going to, uh, you can go to Ronnie Dawson on ACO Club dot app and uh, look at Ronnie. And uh, we'll start putting this show on ACO Club dot app. And also, I think I'm going to promote him on ACIR radio. But at least today, folks, we want you to uh, promote. Ronnie Dawson, or at least talk about Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie, you got your own page. It says Ronnie Dawson. There's a picture of him in front of a mount. What is that? It's not a mountain. It's a something. But Ronnie's in an orange shirt. It's I've got Ronnie Dawson in the ACO Club. Oh, I do have ACIR Radio, so I'd already decided to put you in my ACR Radio Club. So he's going to be in the ACO Club and the ACIR Radio Club. Now, what is that tall? I used to see him as a truck driver. Uh, it's sort of like uh, it's not a. Is it, do they call that a mountain? It's sort of a pointed castle looking. Is that called a mountain or a stella or what is that called? They actually it's they call it Ship head. Rock. 
It's a, yeah, they call oh. it ship rock out of New Mexico. It's just uh, out in the plains, man. This rock just shoots up out of the plains, and uh, it's a. Uh, I, I guess the Indians and everybody think it's uh you know has a lot of paranormal association and uh, kind of a holy spot, really. They they don't like you messing around over there, really. <laughs> so, but it's amazing when you see this thing. So I I had to get a picture of it in the background. It almost looks like a crash. That's a nice picture. Bench. Yeah, it could be the top of one. Like uh, remember, uh, not content, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, because uh, Steven Spielberg had all that inside information. But if you remember, it does because the top of those look like the top of that really big mothership that came in over Devils. What was that Devils something in Devil's Wyoming? Tower, yeah. Devils, Devils Tower. But the top of this mountain uh, that Ronnie is. Standing in front of can be like a, a ET UFO ship that turned into rock underneath the ground. It would be the top with all the uh, I don't know what you call them crystals. Or, or, it, we use them off planet as crystals. But Ronnie Dawson, ACO Club, and then ACR Radio. But right now we're on Blog Talk Radio, one of my resources I pay for. But I've I've got I've got about three hundred a month where I spread it around in a budget for American Communication Online, which is just like the main. Uh, we got approved Ronnie for uh, to accept credit cards on our club Ronnie uh, to uh, the last two days authorized dot net Ronnie. So, uh, but Ronnie's going to run our paranormal division, and uh, he's uh, agreed him or Mary Jane <laughs> Marjuana Jane. <laughs> <laughs> but she does angel stuff. She does doing uh, uh, uh Tell me her name on uh, doing angels. Now, what she does? She like angels, or she calls extraterrestrials, or believes all the higher people. How did Mary Jane get that angel uh, doing angel? Give Give me the name of her Gmail uh, yeah. again. Yeah, it's a, her huh? Gmail is doing it off her huh? angel at gmail dot com, and uh, and uh, her. Angel is actually her oldest daughter, and her daughter was taken away from her here several years ago by her grandparents, and she fought most of her life to get her back, and we we finally did get her back eventually, but we had to like go to court many times, and it was a struggle, and she kind of made that as her, she just, uh, that, that was her goal in life, you know, was to get her daughter back, and it took a lot of fighting, and a lot of court, and a lot of arguing, and a lot of... <laughs> A lot of doing better, well, you know. Let me so make sure I've got it right. Doing it off? Is it doing it off OFF, her angel? Off her no, angel, off. is that it? Oh, I, On uh, or off? Yeah. Doing it Wait, off I still don't have angel. it. Doing, doing it, it off? off. O-N or OFF? Oh, doing it all. Well, no wonder she didn't get it. Doing it all for angel. Right, right. Finally got yes, it right, she's, folks. And she's a genetic researcher. Uh, she does DNA. She finds people's parents, uh, people that, who are adopted and stuff like that. She finds their natural parents, and 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 she's really good into that stuff. And she's been, I think, she's oh, probably really? going to do a TV spot at some point. Yeah, she's done, she's like a search angel. And she helps. She's helped people find their parents and help people find their siblings that didn't know they had any. And we've recently found uncles that were hers because her mother was adopted, and so she's gotten really good at it. And and, she, and in fact, they were thinking about giving her. They were talking about giving her a show on TV at one point. Wow! Yeah, they were doing all those genetic shows for a while, and I haven't seen any in a while. But uh, we can do that. Uh, too on our ACO club because I pay for uh, Crowdcast and we can get, at least put it on on uh, YouTube, you know. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, she'd be happy to did, all about that. And how did yeah, I get, she can find and it brings down sometimes it's the ugly truth, you know, the, you can find the ugly truth about your family that's been hidden all these years, <laughs> like people who have brothers and sisters that didn't know that it existed, you know, and stuff like that. 
Wow. Well, we've gone from the annual UFO festival in Roswell to angels and DNA. But, folks, we, you never know what we're going to talk about here uh, on the Paranormal Show. It's going to be, you ain't going to believe this. We're, <laughs> but uh, Ronnie and Mary Jane out of Texas now. So y'all be sure and tune in, and they'll promote the Roswell UFO for us annually to remind us to go there uh, July 4th, since we don't have Stanton Friedman anymore. Now, uh, Ronnie, uh, on this Associated Press that they they let go March 17th, it was on the New York Post. It made New York Post through Associated Press. Uh, an alien on display during the 2011 Roswell, but they used that. I guess it was open source. But they have KOB TV reports, the UFO Festival Roswell, July 3 through 5, Ronnie. And the organizers say they do have plans for it, okay? Now, uh, Ronnie, write down Molly Boyles is the Main Street Roswell board member, that spokesperson. M-O-L-L-Y-B-O-Y-L-E-S, in case anybody asks us. Now, she says she's one of the organizers. Wait. Let's see. She's a Main Street Roswell board member. So I guess the Main Street has to have a board to help run the city and the, and the, and the festivals, uh, probably like where I lived in Beaver Dam, Kentucky, and helped Ohio County. But Molly Boyle says the organizers still have time, so don't cancel or don't postpone. But she's saying, as far as they know, unless the government agencies – you know, come down on them, so to speak. So Bowles is the owner of Once Again Consignment and Resale Shop there. So she doesn't plan to close her doors even now. So uh, Roswell Mayor Dennis Kintig, K-I-N-T-I-G-H, says the city so far has no positive cases of COVID-19. So the site supposed UFO crash in 1947 has an extraterrestrial festival that draws thousands. So Ronnie and I are supporting Roswell and the ET Extraterrestrial Festival, okay? That's what I do on TJ Mars ET Radio. I promote ET festivals. Now, some of us may call them aliens, greys, ETs, angels. Uh, we may or may not all be talking about the same thing here weekly on the Paranormal Show but uh, with Ronnie Dawson, but uh, Ronnie's helping me, and I'm going to help him. So y'all just get ready for it. Now today, Ronnie's had, for y'all in the ACO Club and on Patreon that don't follow us yet, go to patreon.com forward slash Teresa J. Morris. There are so many Teresa Morrises, I had to put a J in there. But uh, Ronnie, I'm going to let you start because I'd like you to tell people uh, when we start these shows, because we're doing, you know, I'm an archivist and a researcher and recorder, for UFO Association 2 with Jan Aldrich, and we do live books or audio books here. But I want you uh, to go ahead, because this is going to be like a form of an audio book every two hours, every Saturday. So on this book, I want you to tell people, just sort of like you were talking on a, on a book, and tell people who you are, a little about your past, and then how you got into this uh paranormal ET radio with me and then we'll go into your latest story okay you understand we're trying to make a chronological linear timeline all right and then uh, we'll get into what I wrote about today the latest episode so start from the beginning Ronnie because we're like starting all over because this is our real first in a series it's going to be series one episode one with Ronnie Dawson on our Paranormal. You ain't going to believe this show. So take it away, Ronnie, and I'm going to mute. So until you need me, you just have to say, TJ, unmute if you want me, okay? Well, it yeah. turns you off. Are you you're back? you back, Ronnie? <laughs> I'm can back. Can you hear me now? Actually, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, it knocks you off no. or something. But that's if, if I lose him, folks, I'll unmute. Okay, but did you hear anything I said about starting from the beginning and introducing yourself? Could you hear me or no? Yes, I, 
Yes, I heard you. Uh, it, it kicked me off, and then I came back, and I, I caught the end of it there. So. <laughs> oh well, then now what I was like, telling everybody is this: this is going to be our first uh, paranormal. You ain't gonna believe this. We're doing like audio books for the paranormal. You ain't gonna believe this. So this is series one, episode one, just like you do TV sh- shows. <laughs> Excuse me, like uh, audio books. I got. 